I think the journey started with um, my mom. She always tell me that when she gave birth to me, it's like the whole poverty came on her head. My whole village, I think 99% of the people that live there are farming. They are farmers. So why wasn't she farming, you know, instead of working? And she said, I'm a stranger in the community because I'm married to this community. I'm not coming from this community, so they will not give me any land. When she narrated the story, I said she would be the last woman to go through this. Her generation will be the last, whatever ways that I could do. This was just about culture. This wasn't about policy of, you know, the government or it's just about culture that is so dominating, you know, that marginalizes women to go through this. So I worked in the NGO sector. We did a lot of advocacy on how to get women to have access to land. Um, but. Um, one way or the other, when we compensate the men to give the land to the women and the project finish, the men take back the land again. So um, when I realized fonio was a crop that could grow on marginal soils without fertilizer application, um, the first thing that clicked my mind was this will be something that is going to give me the solution. Um, because women do not have a lot of money to go into farming. But without fertilizer application, which is so much cost to them, they can easily farm fonio. And it can also grow on these degraded lands. And after continuous production for three years, the land becomes, it regenerates the land. And the woman can now use it to, you know, grow other crops. It can grow anywhere. It can even grow on rocky areas. And immediately I heard that, I didn't even finish my master, I just went back. <laughs> And um, I, I went to the village and I told the chief that I wanted to do this with the woman. And he told me it wasn't going to succeed. And um, I slept in his house for two days. Then he realized that I wasn't going anywhere. Finally, they, they gave me the third woman, you know, after I insisted. And we, we piloted it and it grew very well on those rocky areas, very well. And they got good harvest, you know. And that started the journey of liberating these women from this um, cultural um, inheritance.